biggest little radio on the air, on the air. Good afternoon, Fernley. It's noon, and it's time for Jan's Fernley Spotlight. Sun is shining outside, but it is cold, very cold. Um, I've got a, a special guest today, um, Cody Conway from uh, Fernley Fitness. Fernley Fitness is um, is having a grand reopening. Oh, you know what? I must say that the show is sponsored by Integrity Casting. Uh, thank you, Tony. Um, if if anyone uh, has has any interest in acting commercials or you just want to take a class, uh, call Tony. She's been doing this for a long time and she can really help you out. But let's go back to our guest, Cody. Hi. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good, good. Thank you for you, having me. You, you've, you've spent a lot of hours fixing and doing and, and, and I've got him standing here and he's just like, well, he's standing anyway because he <laughs> hasn't had any sleep. You've been painting. You've been getting ready for this grand reopening. Been doing every everything we can to get it ready: painting, cleaning it up, uh, making sure it looks perfect, and uh, we have everything we need to uh, satisfy our guests. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. so this this should be a pretty good deal because I'm gonna I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna be talking to people, taking pictures, and uh, um, uh, Jay Fierce Rodriguez from Vegas Little Radio is gonna be down there doing a live remote. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun down there. Uh, I'm really hoping so. I, I, uh, I'm really excited about having you guys down there. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple of years now, and, and uh, it's just grown so much, and, and I'm just proud to be able to, to have you guys there for the grand, open, grand reopening and, and looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. You do a lot down there. Yes. A, a lot down there. Uh, you've got um, uh, what is what does uh, for the for the kids because uh, the parents are always looking for something for the kids to do. Yes. But you have all these kids for uh, programs, uh, CrossFit Kids. What is that? So CrossFit Kids is basically a physical fitness program where we teach the kids how to uh, be stronger. We use a minimal amount of um, barbells, some kettlebells and dumbbells to strengthen them. We do a lot of calisthenics and gymnastics basically to keep our our kids more fit Mm -hmm. Uh, just as a a little extra it's an hour long a day uh, Monday through Thursday and uh, basically that's my favorite part of the day I love I love working with the kids but yeah uh, uh, well they don't really have gym in schools like they used to no they don't so this kind of helps bring that back in a different different place yes well I mean I'm I'm really big about uh, childhood obesity um uh, we really need to fix this problem, and I'm proud to be one of the people that's that's trying to do that. But I mean, uh, my classes could be scaled for any kid. It doesn't matter if you're young. Our youngest is five, and our oldest is uh, is 17. So um, it's all ages, all levels. Anybody could do it. We modify for each kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you give little tips on you know what to eat, strength food, and or bad food, good food uh, in I, the class too, or yes, tips, tips. Yes, I'm not a dietitian or anything mm-hmm. like that, but uh, yes, I like to give tips. We tend to follow Paleolithic diet and mm-hmm. trying to get rid of all the junk in our food, all the sugars, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So eat your vegetables, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about the Taekwondo? That that's uh, I I had a friend that was in uh, had his son in Taekwondo for quite a while and it's it's good physically but it's good mentally too right Yes it's it's all about focus and and at Liberty Fitness our our uh, motto is strength through discipline mm-hmm. and it teaches a lot of discipline uh, it teaches you to focus on what you're doing we do a lot of pattern work uh, punching and kicking and uh, it's a lot of knowledge learning too. And every belt structure that you go up, there's a rank structure, a belt structure, and every belt structure you go up, it it adds a little bit more to your focus, a little bit more to your discipline, a little bit more to your strength Mm -hmm. in a lot of different ways. Yeah, but it's also about restraint. It's not about fighting. It's about 
restrained. Absolutely. One of the tenants, uh, one of the uh, uh, things we stress the most about it is that we don't ever use Taekwondo for anything other than Mm self-defense. If there's something happening, we we don't want somebody just to go out and and hurt people. We teach you that it's not about that. It's about actually learning to defend yourself and learning to defend others without openly going out and causing trouble. So so it's good to defend yourself against uh, the bully crowd. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The um, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. What is that, and how does it differ from the Taekwondo? Okay, so Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We are a proud uh, Charles Gracie Academy, part of the Charles Gracie fan, the Gracie family that's been in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's actually the founders of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, for a long time. Uh, they've been involved, but we are actually a proud Gracie Academy, and it is uh, the closest I can relate to it is is wrestling. But uh, jiu-jitsu has gone more to a sport with self-defense aspects. So we tend to do different holds or arm bars or, or submissions or things like that. Uh, it's ground fighting. It's, it's working on the ground. It's working on the ground. And then you have boxing. So yes. actually the boxing kind of works in with the jiu-jitsu in a way, doesn't it? When they do competitions, I, I forget what the competition name is, but it's like a combination of both. Well, you're talking UFC and, and mixed martial arts. Mm-hmm. And so, yes, a lot of that combined all together, including Taekwondo, uh, is uh, basically creating a well-rounded fighter for mixed martial arts and and our boxing program which uh is is temporarily su- suspended right now for for a couple more weeks we hope but uh it's it's really to teach the the punches the strikes that are that are essential in a mixed martial arts arena to be able to fight professionally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that that's good for uh not just getting aggression out but it's uh physically it's demanding right? absolutely very very demanding so if you have a kid with a lot of energy that's a that's a good one right absolutely <laughs> <laughs> okay um the tumbling this is a this is a great a great class because it's like tumbling and kind of going into gymnastics type of type of thing and i've heard a lot of people around looking for something like that and they don't know it's here yeah, we're, we're, we're working on that right now. Mm-hmm. Yes, Chris, Christopher Allison, Coach Chris, he's absolutely fantastic. We're proud to have him on board. Uh, he's been here since, uh, since day one of Liberty Fitness and really been uh, building his program and doing a phenomenal job with the kids. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, we are a, uh, a, a stepping stone for competitive gymnastics, but we're starting to delve more into cheer tumbling and uh, – basically teaching the kids how to move properly how to to go through the different movements and uh, yes so the little ones who want to go into cheer this is a good this is a good thing for them you know the the girls that want to go into cheerleading and song or whatever whatever they're calling it nowadays because there is a lot of a lot of that involved yeah, so uh, we have a mini me's program that we do, a mini tumbling program for our little guys. It mm-hmm. uh, starts at three, three to five, typically, depending on the uh, the child. And uh, it really emphasizes using their bodies to get into cheer. Um, cheer is an aspect of tumbling, but uh, if you see a lot of the competitions or some of the movies that come out uh, that have come out cheer is not what it used to be Mm -hmm. it's all about the tricks it's all about the throws it's all about the other aspects of just the rah-rah and Mm -hmm. pom-poms so that's what we're trying to uh, get into is to to build up towards a competitive type team to Mm -hmm. teach the tumbling the gymnastics all through combined with that's the all necessary for for cheer though you've got to have the core strength you've got to have strength and the agility Definitely. to do this kind of thing but you need a background like this to to pull it off and it's you know? tough work it's tough to do what those kiddos do mm-hmm. so we're yeah very it, very proud they're they're amazing when they do it i've seen a couple of videos online of these little little tiny kids and they're going through this course like most adults couldn't go through absolutely it's just it's amazing um the sumba dance 
Okay, so uh, Sue Ellen uh, Egbert is our instructor for that, and mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's a contemporary type dancing. Uh, we're bringing it back in January. Uh, we do that in blocks, and basically, we do that so that they could build up to a performance. So every block, or I, I like to call it a block, at the end of every session, we have a performance for the parents, mm -hmm. and the performance is free. Um, the adults get in on it sometimes too, but it gives the kids something to look forward to. It gives them something to, to be proud of other than just dancing. Mm -hmm. So it's like a show at the end of the year type of, Absolutely. Type of thing. A lot of dance studios yes, have Yes, we those. have them a couple times a year. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. That's awesome. Now what's all involved with your after school programs? So we start off, um, basically we allow the kids to come into the gym at 3.30 uh, we uh, allow them to do their homework during that time or kind of wind down before they get involved into a program. We start our CrossFit kids at 4, so we bring them in for the CrossFit kids. And then from there, they can either go to Taekwondo or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or boxing. And we carry them out past those classes um, until the parents get home basically they they could be picked up uh, as late as 6 30 or if we work with the parents a little bit later simply to give the parents a, a place for them to go that's positive mm -hmm. so that they don't have to worry about them do you have uh, transportation from the school to liberty fitness yet or is it something we do you're not. thinking about yeah. or we we used to with uh with the old business the mm -hmm. old group but uh, unfortunately that didn't work out so we're working towards that eventually um, hopefully and then we're trying to work with the schools to allow the kids to be dropped off at the bus stop that's local to us mm -hmm. so but uh, our proximity to the high school kids just walk there and we're centralized right where we're at and on Cottonwood at the end of Cottonwood 95 mm -hmm. we're, we're centralized so a lot of the kids can still walk although it's a dangerous. So if road. they're going for the uh, going coming from the elementary school, it's not that far either. They just need to get from there up to Liberty Fitness, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let's hit. You've got uh, first week of any of the above programs is free, and we're going to hit the adult after the break. But um, how does that uh, how does that work with the with that and the introductory offer and so uh, wants to get we like to allow everybody to have a chance to try out our programs. I mean, uh, sometimes kids would be excited to do one program, and then you go and you buy all the gear for it, and they decide they don't want to do it anymore. Well, we want to give the kids the opportunity to try it out, to make sure they like it first before you have to purchase anything, uh, even a membership. Um, they can try out any of the programs that we offer to figure out what fits best for them and what fits best for the parents, of course. Um, and once they get into that program and, and try it out and see a few times if they like it, then we let them decide, okay, what's your next step? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and our introductory offer, basically, we, we want to give them a chance at a lower price in order to make sure as I said, they want to do the program. So we offer three months for 150 and that's $25 off a month, but it is up front. So 150 for the first three months. And that way it's a little bit lower cost over the three months for the parents than having to pay full price and then realize that the child doesn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. But let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> well, what what happens if, if you, and I know this has happened with, with my daughter, she she went into gymnastics and then after a certain period of time, it's like, no, I want to go into something else. Can you switch that? I, I mean, if you're in the middle of an introductory offer or the middle of a plan or something like that, can you say, okay, um, I've still got X amount of time left, but can we switch? Is yes. that possible? Yes, it is. I, I, I can't refund any uh, product that you purchase in, in the sense of a, say if you decide you wanted to do Taekwondo and then decide to switch to gymnastics or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I can't refund you for the key, but I can allow you to continue your time. Especially, okay. we, we want to make sure everybody's happy. So That's we'll great. do whatever it takes. That's great. Yeah, and you're up at Cottonwood in 95A, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Um, Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to take a quick little break here. 
And then we're going to come back and have a little more discussion on Liberty Fitness and everything they have. We're going to hit adults. Adults, listen, there's stuff out there for you to do. Are you looking for a job? Great! Because Biggest Little Radio is hiring. We're looking for account executives to sell advertising for Biggest Little Radio. And the potential income is unbelievable. Make money today. Sell radio advertising today. Email us your resume. BiggestLittleRadio at gmail.com. That's BiggestLittleRadio at gmail.com. More music is next. Have you ever thought about acting? Or just looking to earn a little extra cash as an extra? Well, Integrity Casting is looking for you. For over 20 years, we have been providing the best local talent for films, TV, and print ads for all ages. If you're interested in seeing yourself on screen or in a magazine, please call us now at 775-322-1515. Again, that's 775 775- 322-1515. Where's the best place to find authentic Mexican food in Fernley? Las Palmas on Main Street. Today, kids eat free. Buy one adult, get one kid meal free. So make your way to 150 East Main Street. Or place your order now. Call 980-6142. That's Las Palmas Restaurant in Fernley. Wouldn't you like to be singing this song? Well, we at Nevada's Real Estate Place can make this dream come true. Are you ready to buy a house? Or maybe you're thinking it's time to sell. We can help you get her done. Whatever you need, buying or selling a home, call us at Nevada's Real Estate Place, 775-302-6296. Hello listeners, Kelly Bry from Carpet King Interiors encouraging you to check out our newly designed showroom today in downtown Fernley. With the holidays approaching and families spending more time inside this time of year, there couldn't be a better time to rejuvenate your home with new carpet, hardwoods, or the hottest floor covering product on the market, engineered vinyl plank. Carpet King Interiors, big city selection, small town service. Biggest Little Radio, loud and proud. And we're back. Uh, Thanks a lot to uh, Integrity Casting, Tony Settle, for uh, sponsoring this spot. Uh, You can give her a call at 322-1515. That's the 775 area code. And if you really want to see what Tony does and uh, get uh, get an idea of uh, her background, uh, go over to uh, FernleyNews.com, look on the sidebar, and I've got a video there um, that she will explain how she got started in the business, what she does, how she does it, and how she picks her clients. So that'll give you a good idea right there that uh, if you're interested in getting in that type of line of work, what you need to do. Okay, let's go back to uh, uh, with uh, Cody at Liberty Fitness, and uh, we're going to be talking about some adult programs that that are offered um let's see uh we've got a crossfit firmly for adults what does that entail is that is that cross fitness or or running cross country or what what the heck is that so crossfit is a uh, basically we're we're trying to develop the human body the way it was originally intentioned and it's uh it's a different way of looking at at fitness we're not looking to create somebody who is a bodybuilder who's going to be extremely large in the size of can lift a thousand pounds bench press 500 we want to make somebody that can function uh every day it's functional fitness is what it is so we use a combination of olympic lifting barbells dumbbells kettlebells and uh gymnastics and calisthenics as well every day is something different so you never have to uh worry about doing the same old routine. You're not overloading the same muscles day no, after day. Yeah. Definitely not. We are full body, mm-hmm. however, so we do tend to go towards um different body parts at certain points, but uh it, it's always full body fitness. Mm-hmm. So. so from what I understand and surmise your 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 core is the most important because that that's yes. That's the middle of everything that's happening, right? Holds everything up. Holds everything up. Yes. So the the core is that you include that with every single one that you're working on at the at the, there, at the time. There is. I'm notorious for that because I I feel the same way you do. It's uh, core is most important. But uh, we're in the middle of a 30 day ab challenge right now. So uh, we throw these types of things in here to help strengthen our clients and and 
you know I get a lot of people that come to me with back problems and and they don't understand why their back is hurting them mm. but they can't do a sit-up yeah so uh, a lot of people don't realize that if you build up your stomach it's gonna help with a lot of those problem problems if you build up your abs uh, your abdominal region you're mm -hmm. gonna you're gonna get a less pain in the back right right and unless you're like me I mean I'm dealing with that right now you know yeah. my my back is out but that stemmed from something long ago when I was on a trampoline uh -huh. and I had a belt on did a backflip and the person that was holding the wire thought I wasn't gonna make it and pulled up on it and and my back just you know uh, went crank so that that kind of messed uh, up my uh my back a little bit and the only thing that i can do around it is build up those muscles around it see i've been through a lot in my life i'm a i'm a combat marine i was injured in in iraq in 2003 in the initial assault um and my specialty is actually injury recovery um, I help people through those situations, and I know that everybody's different. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're injured or, or not. Everybody is different. So I tend to help people in those situations that need to recover from those injuries by teaching them exactly what you just said. Mm -hmm. If you have an injured part, you just work around it. And uh, my shoulder, for example, I only have some of the muscles connecting my right shoulder because of an, an injury, and uh, I build up the shoulder around what's around the missing muscles so that I can still complete the movements that I need to do. Mm -hmm. So if they're missing muscles, how is it built up? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it sounds like so, a catch-22. So uh, <laughs> it, there's, there's basically four different muscles in the shoulder. And, uh -huh. and my supraspinatus, which is one of, the, one of those rotator cuff muscles, is torn all the way through and retracted, basically meaning that because of the uh, injections and different circumstances, they'll never be able to sew it back together. Mm -hmm. They told me I'd never be able to do pull-ups again. Well, I built the strength in my arms uh, around that m the, the muscles and not using that specific muscle, but building the other ones, and I could do 30 pull-ups. So uh, it just takes a lot of time and a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the adult programs, the youth programs are kind of the same, but I'm sure their adult yes. programs are a little bit more rigorous. Let's hit the Taekwondo for adults. So uh, it tends to be a little bit more, uh, we're building into a uh, more contact type um, competition Taekwondo right now. For that, um, it's adults only right now. Uh, Starting at what age? Is, I mean, is this okay for a high school senior or do you want people yeah. older than that? We we are are just now starting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just now starting to to g get into that, uh -huh. and so right now it's only adults um, until we get a little bit more experience with our instructors in that field, so that we can make sure that everybody is safe. Safety is the most important thing, so we want to make sure that everybody is safe. So once we start getting. Uh, more instructors that are more involved in those kinds of things and mm -hmm. we can actually um, allow the kids to to start learning yeah. that but well, you figure line at 17 is, yeah. or 18 years old you've got some pe you've got some kids out there that aren't kids anymore they are no, adult yeah. size yes absolutely they're they're getting bigger and bigger every year but you, we just don't want the younger kids hitting and kicking each other mm -hmm. especially at the young age because you know we all know that that causes damage and and they get a little overzealous yes absolutely yeah yeah okay and so let's let's double these together the brazilian jiu-jitsu and the boxing we talked about that as being like a combination um if there's any uh potential you know uh fighters out there or whatever you know they can take these classes and get get cord up and everything uh, adult wise yes so uh, we just had a uh, competition for the uh, crazy Brazilian jiu-jitsu uh, we had several kids go down um, and some adults go down uh, our our instructor actually took second place in the tournament out of 500 people that went down we had one person take first place two people take second place and three take third place in the tournament this is out of 500 competitors from all around the area mm -hmm. um, and where so was the tournament at it was down in california i want to say tracy i apologize but i know it's not tracy mm -hmm. but 
Yes, so it was down in California where Charles Gracie Academy, the the main academy is. Oh, that's where the main academy is. Okay. Yes. So you you did good. You you uh, made some in, important uh, placements yes. on that. Okay. Yeah. Um. The uh, how do I pronounce that? Oh my Dance goodness! Anna ninja Luke. Warrior training. Oh, you yes. want to you want to hit that? That sounds interesting. Uh, so uh, the Ninja Warrior training, uh, we're starting to get more into. As a matter of fact, we were just contacted by uh, season nine. Um, they have asked us to uh, work on trying to get some people to audition for the Ninja Warrior season nine. Uh, American Ninja Warrior Season 9. Uh, it's very interesting. I'm the only person in northern Nevada that I know of that has an American Ninja Warrior rig or a Ninja Warrior rig. Um, it's very, very challenging. And uh, not many people could get through it. But we're actually building a, in the process of building a full Ninja Warrior course within our facility. We're going to have the warp wall. We're going to have the salmon ladder. We're going to have the spider climb pegboards all that fun stuff so that's really a challenge <laughs> yes yes we're and we're looking forward to that challenge it's gonna be gonna be a lot of fun yeah plus the potential of being on tv on tv <laughs> yes yeah that's exciting that's exciting um how do you pronounce that danzan Dan Zenru, yes. Okay, Dan Zenru is, is a, a combat style jiu-jitsu. Okay. Um, so it's taking the Brazilian jiu-jitsu, which is a sport, and actually uh, putting a combat aspect to it. So it's adults only, uh, with a, and teenagers can be accepted in the, into the class under uh, special um, approval from the parents and from the instructor. But that is teaching you self-defense in the way of stopping your opponent i have to be careful with my words mm -hmm. but stopping the opponent and so it it goes a little bit beyond the uh wrestling to the point where you're trying to submit your opponent and goes more into where you're trying to stop your opponent Okay, so you're putting. I, I, I'll probably say. I'll say it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's what you want to use self defense. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, maybe you don't want to call it that, but it's something that you would use to stop someone. It's definitely a way of self defense, mm -hmm. and and all of our disciplines can be used in in certain aspects uh, mm -hmm. for self defense. But yes, it's it's definitely very effective. Oh, okay. Um, let me mention this really quick. Uh, we've got a holiday toy drive. Uh, Christmas for Kids, uh, for only toy drive, is sponsored by uh, Liberty Fitness and hosted by Salon 95. Uh, donate $10 or an unwrapped new toy valued at $15 or more. Receive five raffle tickets to win a $50 gift card to Lowe's, Walmart, or Big R. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. So um, um, go on down and... Um, uh, where's the wine and snacks? Let's talk to him about where's it. the wine and snacks? Uh -huh. So uh, this is an event that's going to be held at Salon 95. Um, it is going to be held on the 15th. Um, and Salon 95 is at 75 West Main Street uh, near the China Chef. Mm -hmm. so, right across uh, the street from the station. Yes, we're very proud to work with Salon 95 and to be a part of the Christmas for Kids. It's uh, As I said earlier, kids are very, very important to me. And uh, uh, they're going to be helping us try and, and bring more awareness to this program and make kids happy for Christmas. Which it should be. Yeah. Yes, and there's absolutely. there's a lot of kids around that just, you know, they might be just making the bills, but they just can't do Christmas. Uh, and yeah. it, it, it makes them tough because a lot of them just don't understand, you know, although it's not just gift giving, you know, it, it, it's something else. But uh yeah, that's wonderful. Are we leaving? Oh, it's time to go. Okay, we need to uh, uh, remember the grand opening, December 8th from 5 to 8. Everybody, come on over and take a look at uh, this this great place. Okay, address is uh, 888 U.S. Highway 95A, corner of 95A and Cottonwood. Really easy to find. Yes. Really yes. easy to find. You're going to have a lot of fun, uh, stuff going on there, people to meet. I'll be there. Uh, Jay Fierce Rodriguez will be there. So 
we're gonna have we're gonna have a really great time absolutely we're honored to have you guys and and we're looking forward to uh, continuing to help the community as much as we can mm -hmm. thank great. you so much great to have you and again uh this segment sponsored by integrity casting uh Tony, glad to have you on board. Give her a call at 775-322-1515. Uh, and I will see you next week.